Hi friends, this is Krishna here and welcome back to my channel Krishna Med. On my way to Shirdi, we made a quick stop in Aurangabad. It's a famous city with many unique locations over here. Right now I am in one of the famous place called Bibika Magbara, uh, also known as Tomb of the Lady. It is constructed in 16th century in the memory of Aurangzeb's wife Dilaras Bhanu Begum in 15,000 square feet and it is surrounded by a garden, fountains and even a mosque. It is also known as Taj of Deccan due to its striking resemblance of Taj Mahal. Entry price to Makbara is 25 rupees. At the center is a humble grave surrounded by an octagonal lattice screen of white marble and the dome is constructed in red stone, limestone and stucco plaster. The reason why the walls of Makbara are little dusky as compared to the Taj. The white dome of the Makbara has panels adorned with designs of flowers. According to the inscriptions on the southern gate of the structure, the project cost was 6,68,203 and 7 annas, which is equal to 1 16th of a rupee. While Taj Mahal was built on a lavish budget of 32 million at that time. Though it's strikingly like the Taj, it's a pleasant construction by itself. Surrounded by a colorful garden with tall cypress trees, huge mango trees, and colorful rose bushes and seasonal flowers. So it's referred to the Taj of the Deccan. Aurangabad caves are located on the outskirts of Aurangabad city, not far from the Bibika Makbara. It consists of 12 caves from east to west. These caves are datable from 2nd 3rd century AD to 7th century AD. These caves are dug out comparatively soft basalt rock during the 6th and 7th century. The caves are divided into three separate groups depending on their locations. The first group of caves consists of cave number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. The second group comprises of cave number 6, 7, 8 and 9. While the last and the third group is made up of cave 10, 11 and 12. The distance between the first group and the second group of caves is approximately 500 meters. Cave 3 is a unique cave where the Lord Buddha is shown seated on the throne of the Shire. The sanctum is filled with the life-size sculptures of devotees sitting in two rows along the side walls. The second group comprises cave 6 to 9, eastern group. The third group includes the remaining three caves, namely cave 10, 11 and 12. Guys, let me just be honest, but this is like one of a kind of architecture that we will not find anywhere else really. I mean, 
can you guys imagine one millennium ago this was constructed and still it is in intact wow cave 6 it has veranda supported by pillars a porch and cells carved on the left and right sides of the hall here the buddha is placed on a lion throne in the western style surrounded by other carvings Cave Seven, apart from the main Buddha sculpture in the central shire, Cave Seven has two chapels and sculptures of Tara figures, Panchika, Hariti, Lord Ganesha, and Goddess Durga. Cave Eight, this is a small cave, and you can access it through the veranda of the Cave Seven. It has two Buddha images depicted in the Padmasana. These caves are among these in India that show first millennium Buddhist artwork with goddesses such as Durga and gods such as Ganesha. Entry ticket to these Aurangabad caves are just twenty five rupees. If you guys like this video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you for watching and see you in my next vlog